Uh, you, I, I, I didn't know what kind of capabilities, and I'm not really that techni technically savvy about being able to project something up a little bit larger. So I just took some pictures and loaded them up on my uh, laptop here, and they're just kind of going to change. I'm not a professional photographer either. I just take pictures using my phone, and most of them, when the orchids bloom, I have a, I have a really nice office. I'm, a, I'm an assistant principal in a high school. And my office just so happens that I have a big bank, the whole wall um, from about, you know, what, four feet high are just windows that face east. And so I have lots of sun coming in, so it's all lined with hanging plants all across the top. And I have a big credenza and some other things so that there's, you know, it, it looks, the kids, you know, it's like the jungle and they like to <laughs> they come in, and which is good because between that and I have a little waterfall because Sometimes in my position, I'm not always dealing with the happiest teenagers. <laughs> so it's good to kind of have a, an environment that calms them down. In between all of that, when I have something that's blooming, and there's pretty much, with that many orchids, there's pretty much always some stuff blooming, I bring those in and kind of mix them in. And that's where a lot of my pictures get taken. I just, oh, I'm sitting in the office like, oh yeah, I should take a picture of that before it's all done. So they're not the highest quality pictures. Um, but, you know, that's just an example of some of the things that I grow, and then there's a few pictures in there of some of the light stands, because I grow in my basement. I don't have a greenhouse. It's one of those things, someday, maybe I'll have a greenhouse. But um, there's a whole corner of our basement that I've converted into my growing area. Um, I don't grow just orchids, although that's primarily what I grow. I have cactuses and succulents and gisnerias and a, a whole variety of different things, but orchids are, are you know, my, my main interest, and I do grow them in the basement under banks of fluorescent tubes, and I have the carts that have the four tubes across the 48 inch, because that gives a pretty, for fluorescent light lighting, that gives a, a, a fair amount of light for a lot of orchids. And then for the ones that like a little bit higher light, like cattleyas and things like that, I do have some metal halide lights, which um, produce a lot stronger light. And down in the basement. Um, and then in the, in the warm months, almost all the orchids do go outside, outside on various sun decks and places that I have that I've kind of built benches and, and places for them to go, depending on their light requirements, because some obviously don't mind being out where they're getting some fairly strong sun, as long as you, know, you always keep in mind if you ever do put your orchids outside, even orchids that actually like a, a fair amount of sun. It's just like your skin. You can sunburn them. So you have to start, say, and you're gonna put them out in May or June, depending on the weather, even for something that likes a fair amount of sun, you have to start in a little bit shadier spot and over the course of a week or two, move them into a little bit sunnier spot because if you just put them right out in the sun, all of a sudden you'll see all these black patches that'll, that'll turn up on the leaves because it's just like skin, their leaves will burn. Um, but if you have a spot to put them outside, a place where they're not um, you know, squirrels or 